All right. Stream is back on. Let's go ahead and uh, edit post. Post that out. Put that there. Hit save. All right. All right. Where's the voice meter? Turn this down a little bit. Testing, 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 testing. Testing. I'm Adam, and I like drones. Y me encanta los drones. This is fucking amazing. My name is Adam. Sassy, what's up? How are you? My name is Adam, and I like drones. Oh, oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. Alright, let's get back to it. Start the YouTube stream back up over here. Thank you for the coins. What's up, Sarah? I'm doing good, building a drone. Also live over on YouTube. Getting tickled over here about uh, all these guys in our group chat. Sending out, my name's Adam and I like drones. <laughs> Jungleist, you're interested in building a drone? They are a hell of a lot of fun. It's an FPV drone, this is the start. Alright, uh, what was I doing? Alright, so earlier in the stream, before I accidentally turned my computer off, I said that we had this little weird uh, plate. It's different than most frames. But this is how you mount your FPV camera. And that'll go on the front of your drone, connected to your two front standoffs like that. And you see you have your little notches at the bottom. It gets connected in there your standoffs then you have your two cam plates that go into the notches and it all gets tightened up together but i did say that we are going to use the front bumper on this build so we can get a front bumper just like that and we'll take our screws and put them through the already pre-inserted holes can i help you i love you too Oh, 
through the hole. Pushing it through the hole. Well, VTX Vista, yes, I'm going to be using a Cadex Vista. Boom. Then we will need 25 mil standoffs. Two of them. And that'll be our f the front to our quad. Just go ahead and get that on there too. I'm not tightening anything up, it's just hand tight at the moment. Lastly, we need, also need our screws that go into the part that is your key plate. Kind of locks it into place. Which is going to be the four shorter ones in your uh, base plate hardware. There's four long ones, four shorter ones, they're your round uh, flathead screws. That way they all lay flush into the carbon. You still have access to your uh, stack, so if you need to take out your stack screws, it's still there without having to remove your key plate as well. I didn't even hardly tighten this down, the arms are just like pretty locked into place already. Um, eh, and while we're at it, might as well go ahead and throw on the two rear um, screw for the two rear, excuse me, standoffs. I use the shorter of the two rounded uh, rounded screws, X screws here. Need one of your 20 millimeter standoffs. Motor F7 HD, I am using FetTech Electronics. I'm running a FetTech G4 in the FetTech 20x2035 amp ESC. I appreciate it, Jaybo. If you're ever done with the family and chilling again, more than welcome to come back into the box. He said fat check 24. What? Fat check. Fat check. Fat check 24. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so we've got our, our frame down. We're gonna go ahead and need to. Uh, ESC. So we got our FetTech 35 amp ESC. It will be facing in towards the front of our quad. Visually inspecting it just to make sure nothing is wrong with it before we start. So we'll be facing it just like that. So I'm going to do this, even though that this is already M2 hardware, I'm still going to be running it where I take running M3 through this, even though this is already set for M2. I feel like that's still a little too weird to see what the FC looks like. Or feels like in there. Ooh, I forgot to pull back up my live or my YouTube chat. Joseph, what's up, dude? This pops up my notification as I'm building a Siren F with the tech. Hell yeah. This is my third third build of one. I do have the 30 by 30 version built up right here. With a be it's a beta flight quad. But it's the only 30 by 30 hardware that I had for. I'll have it. Is the only difference between the mini and regular is one stack size? Correct. And the, the 30 by 30 is like 105 grams. The mini 
is 92, at least the split mini. I like, I'm running the split version. They do have, um, let me pull this out here. Same hardware, if you don't want the split deck, you can literally get a single base plate version with the same keys, holes, same arms, everything that goes with it. Um, Sean did send me this as a spare part, which was nice, very nice of him. I wasn't expecting it. That way you've got one, one solid base plate if you prefer that design. Spare carbon at the moment. Um, cool. All we got left is the top plate. I'll go. Can't decide if I want to run. Punch out the holes, or do I? I'm gonna file them out. I don't know where my files at though. Shit. But we're not on the FC yet, so let's worry about the ESC. So we got the ESC. Um, clearance wise, it's going to be our top side. I really don't want it to be. I never run it like that. Oh, kitty cats. What's up, dude? Boom. Oh, come on, you whore. There's my iron net. Forgot the power turned off, so we gotta turn it back on. Woo! Sorry, I'm missing everything on TikTok at the moment. I'm totally blowing it. TikTok's live, so over here looking at my YouTube chat. What motor is you running on this one? I am running iFlight Zingy Pros 2306 1700 TVs. On the Quad Mula Siren F5 Mini Split. I expect it to be about 550 all up without an action camera. Maybe. Digital build. Demo, what's going on? We're putting some flux. Be able to tin these wires up. Need a solder. Five fifty with an action two. Uh probably five fifty. No, five fifty with no action camera. And uh uh Ovonix one thousand. Which is a hundred and seventy four gram pack. So 
still a light bitch though. It's a 92 gram frame. Where are my snips at? What am I doing? I'm trying to do this with scissors and destroy some scissors. See like this. Maybe I should run it like this. I think I'm gonna run it like this on this build. So that way, all I have to do is just have my. Wires come up out of the blobs here, sideways, straight out. That runs the fucking cat being long. Extra long wire. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I change stuff up. I always do stuff the same. Yeah, that's what but where's Jeff? Jeff's on YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was on the YouTube chat until my stream died. I should try the 1150 Ovonic. Only a few grams more. Did you ever fly that weird-looking battery? I have not flown that weird-looking battery yet. I am going to return those. haven't yet. The 1150s, how much more though? If it's over 200 grams, I don't want to see. Oh, it's 179 more? Or 179 all up for the battery. Alright, so we're gonna just do this OG style. Let's go ahead and pre tin our pads here. It's so awkward trying to make sure that above me can see. Turning up our pads here. Gonna be going in the quad like this. Wires running out to the left. So let's go ahead and do our. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, if this doesn't stay stuck to this blue tack, I'm gonna go nuts. Now the blue tack wants to come off the fucking thing. Fantastic. I'm crazy. I'll give you a close up when I'm done. I know it's kind of awkward to ask what I'm doing right now. But to me, this is one of the most important parts, making sure this is right. Boom shaka rocks. So we'll be running both wires off to the left, so we kind of want it enough for the standoff clearance and all that jazz. I need to see what you're doing with soldering iron. I'm trying to learn here. <laughs> Boom! I don't know if that will, uh... Uh... Not much. Get some solder on that iron. Along the from the tip of this, from the tip down. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ow, shit. <laughs> shit. 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 All right. So melt it and move the iron to the top of the wire. That way we'll be able to take both of our wires off to the side like that. Beautiful. And then we'll turn this bitch over. Also need, I'm gonna use actual colored wire on this one. Just so it helps me down the road in the field. Where's my wire container? No red wire living on the edge. No, I don't do red wires on my uh, ESC. What I do is just the one red wire on my cap. Just that way, if I go to peek in, I can tell which pad is which quicker on my lead side. Okay, you know what? I got fresh water. Oh, that's too skinny. Where's that? Why 
point or did I? Boo. Oh, that guy fly. What up, dude? Sorry. Too many chats. 177 a pack. There she is. What up? Could never build with headphones on. Kudos. <laughs> You get used to it. What gauge is this? This was 18. I don't think I have any red 18. Do you know? Something a little thick, but not too thick. HD quad and Adam, aka Blackbeard FPV, is correct. I have not flown analog, an analog, or built an analog quad or had an analog quad since I've gone HD. Thanks to, uh, Mr. Stuka himself. You know, uh, donating that to me and gifting that to me. solder all the way going down down right there how long is your the max you're supposed to wire supposed to be like that esd i don't know i'm only just gonna solder the one we'll trim it up all right the cap going to the esc I remember I was the first one told you were gonna you were going to Jill and now look at the crew. I remember when I remember I was the first one you told you were going to Jill and now look at the crew. I know. It's insane. Who is still building analog quads these days? <laughs> Good question. What's going on over here on the YouTube chats? Positives on the right. Uh, we need some flux. Some blue tech. And the soldering iron. Ask your mamas. All right, we got some tinned up wire there. And I said the right side was, uh... Right side was the positive side. Oh no, that was a sloppy, sloppy joint.
cap slash the wire on you need trim it up at parts where you want to part so you can so boom and that way we can now put it on here this will be wired out that way trimmed up and matched on the outside of the top plate there and I'm sure this wire I'll be able to come up and wrap up and over or bend it up over here with the way the cap and the spike absorber will be mounted if they like that it's cool little things that come with the mounts it does come with it's a cap to fit in there perfectly for you for the Rubicons can't beat it can't beat a free cap Right. And then we will take blue tack. Now we need to prep our ESC wires to the motors. So we'll need four of these connectors. Remember the male side, not the female side, you want going to your ESC. Ooh. Your mama hooked it up. Did you tell her thank you? <clears throat> Boom. I'm going to go ahead and get all the wire that I trimmed off of those motors. And we did the, made these connectors for it. Get the spare wire. I'm just gonna use the side that's already leaded. I don't care that much. Some people say don't use the leaded side with leaded holder, but it's not going to hurt. It's because it's just going to make this process a little bit faster for us. This is all. We'll go ahead and get all of these soldered up, and then I'm going to take a quick smoke break. The TikTok Live will be ending, but we will be um, tin that iron. What's up, Bill Joe? Frank Bob? <laughs> um, We'll be ending the TikTok live, but we'll still be live over here on YouTube. <laughs> Finishing up this build. Um, I want to set the solder down. Let's go ahead and get all this tinned up. All these Mr. 30s. Right, all of those are tinned up. And then add all the wire to each of the theme of the jigs. Yay, Mr. 30s. <laughs> I'll take a wow wow. Yay, smoke breaks. They are the best, no doubt. Sometimes we just need a solid safety meeting. We'll have the intermission screen up, guys, and for those sticking around, they will have to just have videos of mine cycling through. You won't be just stuck staring at the green mat.
lasers. Boom. One, two. I forgot to make another mention that I will be going back in, uh, in formal coding this ESC when I'm all done, but for time's sake on the stream, we're not going to do that. I'm actually going to conformal code both ESC and FC on this build. So we make sure we have a nice You know, you know, just trying to be cool like uh, Renee. I'm only again, only conformal coding the ESC SC. I'm not like going completely waterproof or anything. I know the Vista's kind of got like something already on it, apparently. I mean, I can tack over the, the power lead parts on the end of the Vista, but. The camera. As much as I'm the like the heart of the drone, you know? What are you soldering up? I am soldering up some MR30 connectors, is what they're called. So these MR30s, this is the male side. They plug into the female side, which is the motor on my drone. Boom. Like that, we push them all the way in. And we'll get this wired up. Probably coming in. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, but we'll figure it out. Gotta wait for these to cool down. Let's get this out of the way here. Oh, Mrs. 30s. <laughs> I forgot. Alright, little connector covers on here. That's the better one. Then that one. Then you can feed it through. You just gotta push them real hard to get them snapped on, but we're gonna do that in a second. Why are you going for FC? Just to be safe, more than anything. I feel more confident. Again, just because FCs and ESCs are becoming so expensive these days. Using a new O3 sway, I am not. I'm sorry, I missed that in the chat earlier, but I am not. I'm just using a cat exposed thing. Yeah. 
soldering iron. Soldering iron burn. Melt spot, whatever you want to call it. Let's make sure that's facing down. It's, you know, glamour shot pictures when it's all said and done. And we got all our stuff. Bada boom, bada bing. God, these things are so hard to get on. At work, I use a press. <laughs> I haven't found a technique to be able to get those real tight otherwise. I don't want to damage the wire. Do that all again. We'll worry about it sh shortly. Yeah, see, it's just so fucking hard. Why is it so hard? I can't even like wiggle them on. They're little bitch hands. Actually, we'll leave it at <laughs> Sorry. This is why I came. We'll get them on there. I just want to uh, get everything cut and measured out here for this side of things since we have so much excess wire. We'll be holding this down. Give me a second. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a break, guys. Um, when we come back, we'll measure out this wire. We will get them soldered up to our pads on the sides. FC put in. We'll need to get our um, the plugs that came with the FC. We have a nice little set of wires. We'll use the four four pin one that way we are able to connect up to our receiver easy peasy and then we'll take the i think the eight pin header we'll disconnect that oh no this one's already got it all ready to go on this see it uh this guy take that back on this vista we already got one pinned up for a g4 so i don't have to do that We'll only need that, and then we'll get the camera mounted in, and get an XT60 and cap soldered up. I think we're good. Vice grips just does the trick for me. I don't know if I have any vice grips. I have to look. I always use like the, just a the vice at work. Just pop it into place you can get it on the edges of the plastic real easy all right um all right y'all i'm gonna put on the intermission screen on youtube as for tiktok i am live over on youtube youtube.com slash just like it is up here uh, i'm gonna end the tiktok live i'll be live again on here when i am done doing what i gotta do but there will be an intermission screen over on the YouTube side playing some music and some videos of uh, past flying stuff. Appreciate everybody that has stopped in, all the likes and stuff on the TikTok. I'll rock. Everybody have a good night. See you shortly. Whatever. All right, intermission.
I missed the spot. What up, Malcolm? I'm still here. <laughs> We're an hour in on this uh, stream, so probably about an hour and a half, two hours into this build. 
slowly going over some stuff. Boom. Guess I could make this a little bit more zoomed in. So you guys can see. What the hell is actually going on? You know it's a little bit blurry. <laughs> on certain things. Old desk. Zoomed in on the desk. Best spot. That's the spot that got me in the heat. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Oh, I didn't even know that was you, Milk. Yeah, AKA. I'm about to do a build. Heck yeah. That's what uh, Joseph said earlier. He was in the middle of doing his siren build and I happened to go live doing a siren build. I want to do this right. So we're measuring out the length of this wire that we need. You're right in there, Marley. What's up, Lunatic? What up, Jaybo? Welcome back. <sighs> I gotta get you a better webcam. Dude, I was trying to use my uh, Hero 11, but the Hero 11 Mini does not support webcam mode. Like the Hero 10 and the Hero 8 and all that jazz. I also have a Hero 7, but I no longer have a capture card. And the Hero 7 has HDMI out on it. So that doesn't do me any good. Are those called bullet connectors? Yeah, they're MR thirties, Mr. Thirties. We call them Mr. Thirties, Mr. and Mrs. for the male, female. They're they are just MR three zero if you search it that way. But I mean, this is a Logitech C920. It's supposed to be a 1080p webcam. It's set in 1080p mode, but it's just, it's garbage. Where'd the first connector go? I want to make sure this doesn't get messed up or mixed up.
And boom. That's how Walkie do it. Forgot about it until now. Yeah, man. Walkie's... I was just mentioning that. Walkie's the one who uh, told us that we should be doing it for so long. And then he moved out of town and we fucking all did it. <laughs> Or I'll start switching over to him, rather. Learn the way of the Mr. 30s. Fantastic. So, you, once you get in the soldering mood, you can just go ahead and get a bunch of motors prepped up. So, you got motors ready. If you break an arm, it tugs, it disconnects at the connector, it doesn't uh, rip out of your drone. All the cool kids are on the plug life. Long plug life, bro. Plug. I already got the plug. You know what I'm saying? Bought some, I haven't used them yet. What, the cop LEDs or the Mr. 30s? I was going to say, I thought you had fly high LEDs. back in Mr. 30s oh I'm lit up light up like a 12 light you up like a 12 what so confused dude boom trimmed And the next one, you trim it just a hair shorter. And then the next one, even a hair shorter, but a shorter than the first length. Boom. I think I made it on that one just a hair too short. Oh my, oh my god. That's gonna be freaking close. Come on, Squints. 12 equals county police. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know all that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sheltered kid. <laughs> I don't do bad things. Wait, where's my camera? I can't stare into the camera. so I don't get these confused. And sometimes wake up there every once in a while. <laughs> I 
sounds like a fun and good time. Pops in your tip though. Oh wait. Okay, you guys are just helping me with good time. <sighs> I need ten. Speaking of ten of the tips, go ahead and ten the first two tips of this bad boy. These wires. Get the iron hot again. So we're doing two at a time so I don't get these mixed up on the, see how they're cut at different angles here. Three pads look good. Let's get the other three tinned up. Are those four wires per motor? Or am I seeing that wrong? It's it's three. It's just the shadow. That that, that last thing is it right there. The shadow. Yeah, that right there. That's the shadow. Shadow to that wire. Yet. Alright, and then we need to tend the three pads as well. Boom. He doesn't have no profile picture up look. This is a nub. Yep, 
this side. And this one goes in uh, this side. Clean off our iron here. the outside one or the inside I guess on the ESC Let's start there Boom. When the lights go down, I see how you but you don't care, no, you don't care, no. It's the one I turned a little short. Boom, we got one uh, motor hooked up. Test it quickly. See if we got short, just spin a motor up. I have a bad habit of trying to use my finger to hold the wire to the tweezers. Bro, you and me both. You are not alone in that fight. Been trying to consciously remember to grab the tweezers. Sometimes it's just easier. Or at least for me to use my finger, get it back on and started, and then I can do like the readjustment here with the tweezers. And I know where to grab it and the angle to have it. It's a little long. Great, I can feel it. You position better. Exactly. But not having to have an extension off your body and being or connected to it, you feel like you can manipulate it better. Um, we got two arms done, soldered up, the other two are still loose. smart.
All right. Boom. Undo these plugs. The connector. Just the left. Just the right one. Wires. I want to check out one of those frames out in person sometimes. Looks pretty nice, dude. I love, love, love the frame. This is the uh, split mini, so it's got the split in deck. Like an apex got a key plate where your stack screws go through all hardware is m2 but instead of if you want m3 to use this tubing self-threaded over the top of your threads becomes m3 and then you can also put nuts over the top of that um 20 by 20 92 gram frame super solid this is the 30 by 30 version already got one built up here but it ends up being a very light build for digital super solid the only thing I've had break are arms and obviously that's the one thing that you want to break first Otherwise, top plates, bottom plates, all that stuff's been holding up. Interesting design stuff, too. It's pretty nice. You also have these little pieces that are like in your uh, PPU that are countersunk into there. So these little silver things, they're tapered, so you use flathead screws. So you're able to get a nice flush design into there just like you would with your base plates i gotta finish screwing that screw in it's not even semi-tight it's like didn't tighten anything down i just did a hand tight but that was popping out we are using mr30s on the build i'm doing it on all my builds recently Thanks to Walkie. Need something for the O3 air unit I've been testing out. One bolt arm swap too. Yeah, it's nice. You got your one bolt here, which actually threads into your uh, standoffs. But this, these standoffs are super, super strong. It's that uh, 7075 aluminum. And then you got the screw that kind of like goes into the end of your arm. But it's not really your arm, it just sits with the key plate. So this is an arm. That other screw is just literally sitting in that hole on the end there where it's locked in with your key plate. That's the one bolt that goes through. Five mil arms, two mil, top and bottom plate. Or these plates, the bottom plates. Two mil on top plate as well. right side double check that side all right where's my blue tack blue tack what's up baby oops 
Sorry guys, I didn't realize I bumped the camera. Oh shit. Maybe I'm just knocking the camera off. I think it's worth the upgrade. I've heard for penetration, if you fly a lot of bandos, it's pretty damn baller. I just hate that you have to record it. Or haven't they fixed that with the new update or something? Did I see that you can now record in? Or is that, was that on the Avada? You can record in different settings and what the feed is. Like onboard. Yeah, since you do the chasing stuff, night chases, definitely need some good low light, huh? Makes sense, though. I'm sorry. What did I do with the two gray cover pieces? Where did I knock those into oblivion at? This is the point in the build where everything starts to get messy. There's everything everywhere. Don't need that, that's empty. 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 That's empty. That's hardware. Those are my cam plates. That's the. That. Boom, boom. Boom. And what's awesome, too, guys, if you do end up picking up the frame, Sean from Quad Mula is absolutely amazing to work with. I mean, if you got any requests or anything with your orders, he's always right there on the ball, willing to help. Super nice, dude. Super, super nice, dude. Yeah, I heard the O3 with V2 was a big improvement. What the hell, it's dark, but when I get off work, just flying in general for me, it's night through. It is that time of year, too. Listen to your mama. You don't want me to intervene, Marlon. Boom. All right. Nice little solder burn in it. Is it a true X frame or squash decks? Uh, it's a it's squash decks. In the description of the live, there should be a. Um, let's see here. There should be a link to their website. Let's see, let me get a. Which is my affiliate link. I will do have to say that it is my affiliate link. Um, quad Mula Siren F5 Mini Split. Copy. Boom. Paste. But on their website, if you go to that, it will tell you all the features, the HSA type, the C-Lock, um, the HSA mounting, using that, um, 
tubing seal lock type uh, key plate. And these little pressure things I was talking about, the counter stuff things, those are called PS3 profile spacers. Or, yes. Um, just the ready. 19 or 20 millimeter cam plate. Switchable. It does come with a Rubicon 1000 uh, microfarad 35 volt cap that fits into the standoffs with the print. It is part of the frame kit. Feet in the front bumper are just their extras, but all their stuff is on thingy first. So if you have a printer at home, you can download all that stuff and get it printed. Boom. It's the one thing I hate about these MR30s is these damn gray pieces. What do you call cookie? Cheeky elf? Yeah, these are cheeky connectors. That cheeky elf. They have a beautiful website. I cannot get this connector. I mean, I want to squeeze this. I'm gonna ruin my damn wiring by punching this shit. Jesus Christ. Why can't I get this one to snap on? It's really pissing me off. Seven of the eight to snap. You're not going to beat the death of me on the last one. Maybe you are, I don't know. You suck. Butterfly, what up, dude? How you doing, Robert? Just filled my Serena Fox. Just finished building mine today. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I told Sean I would do a build stream, but then I'm gonna cut this up and make it a little faster for an actual YouTube video, but. How are you liking it so far? Have you gotten uh, made in it yet? Ah, got it. Thank goodness. Everyone getting this frame. I think I am. Dude, it's a super solid frame. I love it. You can get the split version. They also have the non-split version. Well, Sean was kind enough to send that in my sponsorship package. Just this as a go. But this is the base plate of the non split version. This is the same arm, same everything. It's just. Um, it's got a sandwich plate, though, obviously, because you can't mount with the key plate. But you still use the key plate to hold the arms, if that makes sense. Where's that sandwich plate? It's more like a Source 1 style for anybody that's flown Source 1s, how you sandwich your arms. <coughs> so it's, this would be your the base, and then your arms would get her there. Boom, sandwich in there. Solid bottom plate is lighter. Uh, ah, uh, uh, 
Give me a second. I will tell you in a second. Let me go grab my skin. So the solid base plate weighs 11.04 grams in the split deck. Mind you, this is one from the first one they sent me for testing. Um, split plate base design. Split is 18.73. So that's seven grams lighter for the non-split. Yeah, they have like a, instead of using the um, carbon mounting plate, they come with like a special design thing that comes up for the front for the O3. Yeah, for low scale. Scale can only do lightweight stuff. But yeah, seven grams lighter for the solid base plate. Oh wait, I take that back because you do have this plate too. Let me let me take that back. I take that back. I take that back with the sandwich plate. So it's sixteen grams, so two grams lighter than running the split design. So six. Six, we'll call it 16. This is 18.7. 2.7 grams. That bitch back in. Plug the Mr. Gary back in. Then we need to tin up the ESC. We'll have an awoke snail. When I get my hands on the arrow three and goggles two, that's when I go digital. Box elevator receiver is badass. Foam from the goggles too. I tried and they make my nose hurt. Uh, I saw uh, Stuka was saying that's like the, the no light leak trick was to use the V2 goggles on the goggles too. But it's not working out for you. Arthur Stuka, however you know him. Grown Arky. The man, the myth, and the legend. The biggest legend. Or very large legend in my life for what he did for me. Completely unexpected. Being able to go digital because of that man. Changed a lot of things. I've got both still freestyle me too. Yeah. Flying your Avada around like it's a fucking. I will say Blackbeard is the best 
dildo flying a Vada flyer I have seen to date. Man is insane. Boom. And we just need our last uh, MR30. Motion controller will champ, no doubt, dude. Fucking beast with that motion control. I like to see the ground walls when it was with the utmost clarity. That way, when you're staring at the dirt, you can uh, see the ants walk by. <laughs> Your nose down to the ground. Oh shit, I hope I do not have to fucking inspect everything now. Long solder somewhere. Boom! We got an ESC soldered up with some Mr. 30s. Let's go ahead and unplug all of them. The OLED display would probably help with the camera in low light. You think? Wouldn't it make it worse since you'd be seeing blacks better? If OLED is like showing you real blacks instead of backlit black on a regular LED screen. soldering so with the pet tech g4 i'm using the four pin harness that is in the box for my receiver which is the only four pin plug on the g7 Run my flight controller backwards, like 180 on this build, so that way, one, my BTX plug is back here, and I can use a short, like, 
shorter harness than what comes with it. Just have to straight up without really caring about how it's pinned as long as it's like pin to pin straight. And then make it really short because the ESC to FC is right there. Shorten that up. All you got to do is just fold the receiver wire under. That's the only wire you're running. And then your camera from your Vista up to the front in between that. I usually run it over the top though. Which will run it over the top to the right so it's away from the gyro. Going over where the OSD chip should be. Alright. I gotta pull up the front tuck manual because I cannot remember the pin out for this. So go to fettech.net. Go to download. Go to the G4 FCG Fettech G4 1.7. Alright. So we got brown is to the far right. Go ahead and get that out of our way. Pull our receiver over. Get the stupid wire off of here that I threw out on it in the field. It's like from an inside of a Tyrannus. Not even like silicone. It's plastic coated. It'll melt as you heat it up. It's fantastic. You know that real good stuff. Change your mind on the XT60 on the side? Yeah, I'm going to do the XT60 how I normally do it. With it going towards the front of the quad and then out to the side. Like Just like how it is on this one. It's not as long because if I learned on this one, you don't have as much room like you do on the source one to have a little bit of long. So I gotta trim it down. Um, because even though that I had it zip, it zip tied to the top plate, it still went out on the prop stripe. Just enough. Not, not a whole lot of silicone. If you did one out the side, do you have to remap motors? Um, yeah. But remapping motors on Kiss and Fettec is not hard. Plus, it has like literally the the letters are green silk on the thing, so the default motor motor one is back here. That's four, three, two. So one, two, three, four. Then we'll have this bad boy out there, which we need to. Also get the spike absorber, fresh spike absorber. Was like pre wrap the wrong direction for me.
Boom. What? She said what? <clears throat> yes, sir. I'm about to have two Fed Tech builds. You liking it? Oh, yeah, nice. You get the ESC. Right now, I'm liking it more than Falco. I need to reorder it. Falco stole Mr. Kiss. Uh -uh. Oh, Mr. Squins. Oh, and it's Falco. Falco stole me from Kiss. Gotcha. You get your money back? Yep, nice. I miss you. What a bad, bad ESC, is that the same issue? I'm so confused in that conversation. I got kind of sucked into what I was doing over here. using the whole length of this wire since we are going from the front we'll have a little bit of extra to play with so if you do this right get them all four in a row get them all nice and pretty and you can strip them all at the same time I did pull it long on these skinny wires, like a real fine wire. I always strip back quite a bit and then pin the whole little exposed bit and trim it after that because it's just a hell of a lot easier. Just heat up the flux a little bit. Just so get these tips stuck in there. Some flux on that shit. Mm. I've never seen a flux can that to before. I've had that thing for like almost two years. I'm like trying to savor every last little bit. I just ha keep having to like heat it up and melt some more into a spot. trimming the metal off the wires off camera. I'm just, I don't want this to have metal pieces to go flying into the electronics here. Boom. So, if we have the FC oriented, this orientated that way according to the manual. This plugs in, that means this is ground. This goes to Aki. And then the next one is five volts. In 
then just telemetry signal. I'm just gonna scroll down to the fucking point. It has a few years crossfire, you know. Um boom. The next one goes to RX, which is the outside. On your receiver, the out file in the antenna sides up. Um, this is going to be your RX pad. It goes ground. Oh, well, it goes R. If you're looking at it left to right, it goes RX TX five volt ground. Boom. So that makes this one, which is the outside of the plug header. Third one. Then. Now our fresh wire is all soldered in. Throw this crap away. It's nasty. Come back to the YouTube chat. Your mic's brushing up against something, buddy. It might be me also breathing into the microphone. I tried to have the, uh, threshold on so it would catch the breathing. I'm just using the mic on my headset, I'm not using my high quality mic. Is below my mouth, dog. It's not my first rodeo. Like, at my chin. I breathe out my nose anyway, so I try to keep it above my mouth line. But there's also kids crying now and everything else. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I don't understand what you're saying. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Sensory overload over here. Oh my goodness. Sensory overload over here. Oh my goodness. Sensory overload. <laughs> Try to get it right, guys. Oh my god. I can't concentrate on anything. I can't. When this baby's crying, I cannot concentrate on a damn thing. It's, it just is down to my bones. Down to my bones. Yeah, I think it, it may have been the port it was connected to. This this uh, headset is kind of finicky. I plugged it into the other side. All right, um, let's get some heat shrink.
Good, good, good. I'm glad it sounds better. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it, it was probably the connector inside of this. This ear, this microphone, you can literally pull out and move ear to ear. I just put it in the other one. It's, if it sounds better, that's probably what it was. Cut out some heat shrink. Get it on our RX here. My lighter is outside. But, hey, where'd you take put the candle lighter? Any more clear heat shrink? I just picked up that uh, thing from Get FPV. It was pretty cheap. And I didn't even realize it came with clear. But it comes with clear and black of all sizes, even the bigger stuff. This size tubing, too. A bunch of clear in there. A bunch of real thin clear. Real, real thin. It is very convenient having a heat shrink for your, at least your receiver, clear heat shrink for the receiver so you can see your lights, but I call them, cut a hole in my RX heat shrink, see the light. Exactly. <laughs> Should have read that sooner. Last and ELRS binding freeze. <laughs> Let's use the OG one that came with it. Just make it weird. Twist her up. You push the wire through the hole on the RX or just sew it on top of it. I just put it on top. Whenever it is really hard to put in, I always get scared that I cross the pins on the inside. My very first build I ever built, I did that for Ida Flight Controller. Did you shoot Zach a Heathen's logo? I did not. I didn't know he was looking for one. I've been sleeping a lot. I've been missing a lot of chats. 
haven't seen a direct message from him. I missed that, Jabo. Alright, and then this will be on top of that. Then we need the hardware for the Vista. And my antenna. So we got some Vista screws. And then we got an antenna that we need. We're gonna need the heat shrink again. Because I am going back to be taking most of this part to conform and coat it after the stream, I am just showing essentially basic form of this. It won't be completed, we'll finish it tomorrow. Or I'll finish it off stream on the recorded side of the video. But we are going to keep going for a while here. At least for another hour and see how far we get. You think we need a new logo? I agree. But yes, I, I think we do. And Josh, I mean, I like the, the OG Heathens one. Just take out the Sunday rippings, dudes. Or it's the Atlanta skyline in the heat, the Texas Heathens. Like the OG hoodie. I know I've been wearing it somewhere. I mean, I love that one. I don't think that one ever got enough love. Just take out, like I said, take out the text Sunday ripping dudes. So this comes with like a, like a little sleeve on their uh, antenna mounts. So you got like a little sleeve that goes over the mount that you just slide it in there. And we just need some of this, I think. Nothing bigger than that. For antennas and shit. Finger isn't always the right method. I agree. Completely agree.
Damn, dude. This is not... Ugh. It's not big enough. This uh, was courtesy of Mr. Blackwell. Thanks for this piece of t-shirt. This is all I have left of it. I had like a little snip end. But I can put some heat shrink around the end of this antenna. Just for added protection. Uh, Josh did. As far as I'm aware. I believe I have that file somewhere too. I think. I'm not 100%, but I think. Boom, and then you just twist the antenna so your UFL connector is facing the right direction where you are going to need to plug it in at. Feel me? And this bitch will just go on the backpack there. Like so. So we got our antenna mount hooked up. We've got the RX ready to go. We don't need this mount. We've got to solder up our um, Spike absorber and cap together. Add it to the black and red wire over there on the other side. Uh, almost done soldering. I got it. Just check. Awesome. If you got that, can you forward that to me just to make sure I have it too? I'm not 100% I have it, but just if you don't mind. Adam.phrase at gmail. I'd like to get that added to my overlay. Oh, I was asking if you if you got it, uh, if you got a free second, will you forward that to me? It's just adam.phrase at gmail. I think it should be in your history. Sent emails. Sent to received. Alright, spike absorber is... Connected. Let's go ahead and use some snips and trim off the excess wire from the cap. I'm 
I'm gonna probably take a zip tie and just make sure that this is all zip tied together. Just to be safe here. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it, sir. Make sure the spike absorber doesn't rip off in transit. <laughs> Kill me. Come on, FC, come off of there. Not use this mount thing. Honestly, I don't think I did in the other mini either. Just the way this. Up in the front up here. Just paint shrink around it and then call it a day. I used the third one back, right? Yeah. The third one back. the stream for everybody's sanity. This quad is pretty much done. We have all of our MR30s done. Still gotta get an XT60 soldered up. 
get these two wires attached to our capacitor and spike absorber that was just in my hand. I don't know what the hell just happened to that. It's right here. No, get that attached to this. And then I've already got this uh, Vista that was already wired up for a G4 anyway. I'll just be plugging in to the flight controller on the top side right here. Putting that in there. Boom, that wire will actually go over the top of FC on the right hand side. Boom. You'll have your ESC in there. Cap will be sitting right there. With it all said and done, and the antenna on the back back here. And we take our top plate. And we've got ourselves a nice little quad there. And it's a sexy little guy. Definitely um, coming along quite, quite well. But I am going to go ahead and end the stream there, y'all. I have going back to work tomorrow. So I need to go ahead and wind down and get ready for bed, unfortunately. Still figure out the spacing and I still need to conform all code this ESC. So I think we will call it there. Everybody have a good night. I appreciate everybody that has stopped by that may still be here. And, uh, everybody, peasy, squeezy, lemon, peasy. So, everything's plug and play. Looks like it's touching. Sorry, I get an idea as I'm going. <laughs>
Gotta get ready for bed later, everyone. Good night, Mike. Cool, Scott Rue, MSR. I don't know why I read that out loud. <laughs> Have a good night, night, MSR. Appreciate you stopping in, my dude. Boom. Maybe. So we get temporary until we get the. I'll cut it when I'm all done. And then re zip tie it. And hold this in place. Beautiful. <sighs> Alright, be good. Everybody have a good night. Appreciate everybody again that has stopped by. It is time for myself to be for good as well. That'll be our cap. Still gotta measure that out once fully on.